Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my March favorites, all of the products I've been loving and using um, a lot more than other products over the last month. And yeah, I'm just going to get right into it because these videos I tend to talk a lot and yeah, I'm just going to get into it. So the first thing is the eye makeup that I've been wearing over, it's been over a month I've been wearing this combination. It's the makeup that I have on today and it's just the original Urban Decay Naked Palette. I haven't used this until recently. It was probably been over a year, like I just never reached for it. But I'm glad that I'm using it again because it's kind of expensive and I just was like never using it. Um, but the combination, in case you haven't seen my spring makeup tutorial that I've been wearing, is half baked all over my lid, which is this shimmery gold. Then I've been doing, what is this, toasted in my crease. And then underneath my lower lash line, I've been using Buck, Virgin under my eyebrow, and Sin in my inner tear duct area. So those are the four shadows I've been loving and wearing, and I just think it looks really, really good together. So that is definitely my first favorite. Second favorite is actually going to be my hair, even though I just got it done yesterday, but a lot of you guys actually noticed that it's a little bit darker, actually a lot darker, um, in yesterday's video, which is my nail care routine video. If you haven't seen that, I will also link that down below because that was really requested by you guys. But I did get my hair done yesterday, and it's a lot darker than it was. About this time a year ago, my hair was like platinum blonde. Like if you go back a year, my videos, my hair was just like super, super bright and blonde, um, which I loved, but I just feel like adding a lot of these lowlights, I just put a ton, a ton of lowlights in mixed with like a caramel, and then I just kind of kept like the light bleach color towards like the front of my hair. Um, but just a ton of lowlights is really what she did like that was different. Anyway, I like the bleach blonde look. It's really fun and bright and stuff, but I just feel like a little bit darker of color actually complements my eyes and my skin tone a little bit more. Like it looks more natural on me than the bleach blonde does. Um, so yeah, I really like this. This is definitely a favorite of mine. Let me know what you think in the comments if you prefer all dark, because when I first started doing videos, my hair was all dark. Um, if you like the bleach blonde or if you like this kind of like combination, I would love to know what your opinions. Okay, lip combination that I have been loving, and you guys have, every time I wear this, you ask me what's on my lips, which I have it on today. I wore it in yesterday's video. Well, a similar version, a similar combination. But today I am wearing the MAC Impassioned lipstick, which is like a, I call it like a um, passion fruit kind of pink, because it's kind of, I wouldn't even say there's orange in there. It's just kind of like a hot pink, like juicy fruit punch kind of color. It's so pretty. And I don't put this on like a regular lipstick. I just kind of dab it onto my lips because it's really pigmented. It's an amplified formula, so it's really bright. Um, so I just kind of dab it onto my lips. And then my favorite lip gloss, which I have actually featured this exact shade, I think, in a favorites video before, but it's the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Creamsicle. And it's a really pretty, like, I guess just corally pinky kind of color and it's tingly I love the way it feels on my lips in these two colors together that's what I have on my lips today yesterday I had on the lip gloss with a different lipstick I don't remember which one I think no I think I just had on the lip gloss and that was it but I love it it's very springy it's bright and fun without being too bright and yeah I just really like this combination I have a two favorite face products both are one's a bronzer one's like a shimmer a lot of you guys have actually been saying I've been looking really greasy in my videos, which is not nice. You shouldn't say that. But I think it's because I've been using this highlighter. It's the Dior highlighter and the shade, it's upside down by the way, the shade is Amber Diamond. And it's kind of like a bronzy highlighter. I had no idea I was going to love this as much as I do. It's really pigmented and beautiful. I have it on my cheeks right now, and I think that's why people have been saying I look greasy or something, because I've been using a lot of highlight highlighter. And I'm just, I really like it. I have to get a Dior highlighter to get the same effect, obviously. Um, I think I just haven't been using a lot of highlighter over the past couple of months, like in my makeup routine. And I don't know if it's like the warmer weather, because it's like 80, 90 degrees in Arizona. I just, I really like the, I've just been using, loving using highlighter on my cheekbones and down the center of my nose and on the little cupid's bow of my, um, my lip. So loving that highlighter. One of my subscribers actually told me it's being discontinued, which I hope isn't true because it's like a new favorite product product of mine, but I really, really love it. So I have been using that and loving that. 
Another face product that I've really been loving, which I need a new one very, very soon, it's the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is the matte version. It's also waterproof, which is great for spring and summer months. And what I've been doing with this is using this Tarte foundation brush, which for some reason I don't like this brush for actually applying foundation. I love the brush in general. It's so soft and it buffs product into your skin flawlessly, but I don't like it for the foundation. I feel like I can see the foundation on my skin when I use this. Um, so I actually prefer it with a powder. So I just use the foundation with my hands most of the time and then I've been loving setting my foundation with this powder, with this brush, and I just buff it all over my face because I've, I've been using a lot of sunless tanner lately so my face is never as dark as my body. So I just buff in the bronzer onto my face and it's amazing. It sets my foundation. It's the perfect shade. I love it so much and I would definitely recommend that if you are going to be sunless tanning and you want your face to be as tan as your body because I don't always put sunless tanner on my face or if I do it usually comes off a lot quicker than my body so I like a matte bronzer like that to kind of like set my foundation make me less oily yeah okay so I have a favorite like nail polish combination thing that I've been doing on my toes the entire month it's so cute so I posted a photo on Instagram you may have seen it I will insert it somewhere in the video right now but what you do or what I've been doing um, is taking two similar colors so like two similar pink colors or two similar blues whatever color combination you want to do then you add a white nail polish and a glitter polish and you kind of just put them on your toes like sporadically and it just looks so fresh and so summery there's something about a white polish that I love I love wearing white nails in the summertime it's just so bright and clean and fun and adding a glitter accent nail on your toes is just the cutest thing ever and I've really been loving doing that and I've even been doing it on my nails like if you saw in that photo I did a similar version on my nails and it's just been a really fun combination and I don't know try it out try a glitter accent toe I think it's so fun and so cute and I have gotten a lot of compliments. When I got my hair done yesterday, I had on I have on a manicure similar to that, and all the girls were saying how cute my toes looked, so it's really cute. So definitely try that out. It's definitely been a favorite of mine. Okay, my next favorite is a new black eye eyeliner that I've been loving. It's Drugstore, which is awesome because I'm totally addicted to the Stila Stingray eyeliner, which is $20, and it goes really quickly, so it's like, it's it sucks that it's so expensive, but it is the best eyeliner ever, but I found something almost literally identical and staying power and everything and I featured this in a makeup tutorial um, kind of recently but it is the carbon black extra intense liquid pencil eyeliner by L'Oreal I don't understand why it says liquid pencil that's kind of weird but one side is just like a smudger and the other side is a pencil and I will just kind of show you how dark it is I barely even pressed look how dark that is it is super super black and for me, black eyeliner is like a staple. I have to wear it every single day, even if I'm wearing like just mascara and foundation, like like a very light makeup day, like if I don't wanna wear a lot of makeup, I seem to always put on black eyeliner. And this is so much less expensive than the Stila one and it works great. It stays on my waterline just as well as the Stila one, so I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna purchase the Stila one anymore because it's definitely my favorite and I like that it's mechanical rather than a pencil that you have to sharpen but this is definitely almost exactly the same so if you've been looking for a really good intensely black eyeliner definitely check this one out and I'll write the name down below because it's kind of a long name for an eyeliner which has been the scent that I have been loving and I need your guys help on this one because I don't I know it's limited edition but I don't know if it's a scent that Bath and Body Works brings back because I'm really not like up to date on how Bath and Body Works works how Bath and Body Works works but I know a lot of you guys are really familiar with all the scents and when they bring them back and that kind of thing and I'm totally not up to date on that I use I usually only purchase their soaps which I don't purchase anymore and their candles I'm not a huge I don't ever gravitate towards their body care section but this scent I bought it last year and I'm just like kind of rediscovered it and I cannot get enough of it it's the sweet on Paris fragrance I know it was limited edition I don't know if they're bringing it back so I need your help let me know if they are bringing it back if they do, you seriously need to get this if you like sweet scents. It smells like sugar, cotton candy, fruit, all mixed into one. It's so good. I've been spraying this everywhere. <laughs> Doesn't look like I have, but I really have. Um, and it's just the best smelling scent ever, but it's a body mist, so it sucks because the scent doesn't last all that long. So I have actually been keeping this in my purse and just spraying it. I actually like that I can spray a ton of it at once and not be like overpowered with a fragrance because it's just kind of fun to spray a lot. 
Um, but I wish that they made this in an actual perfume. I don't think that they do or that they will. I mean, I really don't know, but I wish that they would because it's so good. And I've never smelled a perfume that smells like this. If you have it, I'm sure you know how amazing this smells, but let me know if they're going to bring this back because I'm pretty sure it's the limited edition. Okay, so I think that is all of my favorites over the last month. I will have a nail tutorial on these nails. You guys have been requesting that. I posted a photo on Instagram and I wore these in yesterday's video. So I will do a tutorial on these nails. So that'll be very, very soon. And I think that is pretty much it. I hope everyone had a great month of March and happy April. And I definitely welcome you guys into April with my April Fools video, which actually got a ton of thumbs down. I think some people thought I was serious. Like they didn't even wait to the end for me to say April Fools. So if you watched that video and thought I was serious, I wasn't serious about that. Um, but anyway, those are my favorites. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Probably tomorrow. I'll probably do this tutorial tomorrow because it's been really requested. So thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. And I will see you soon.